All right, so I'm here in the Tesla Model X 100D that I bought back in uh, January of 2017. And back then we did some performance testing just to see uh, what kind of performance they offered in the standard kind of 100D Model X. Uh, we were getting zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds, quarter mile in about 13.2. And I always felt like, and I expressed this in the video that I'll put a link in the below, that performance could come off the line a little harder or I felt like there could be more in it. I felt like Tesla was holding the car back a little bit, maybe to put some more distance between this and the more expensive P100D. Now, a lot of people disagreed, agreed, you know, really wasn't sure where to put it, put the general consensus on if more power could be had. Now, fast forward a year, Model X's, 100Ds are faster. Same with the Model S and actually the 75Ds as well. Tesla came out with some software updates that uncorked some of these earlier Teslas. Now the uncorking process was adding more power to these cars and making them faster. So uh, initially I think the 75D came out and then they were doing some of the Model S's, but the Model X's took a while to kind of happen. I had kind of been out of the loop in the forms for a little while, but I went back and checked and saw that some of the X100Ds were actually able to be updated by Tesla depending on the VIN number to add that additional power. So I called up Tesla, my buddy Frank over at Tesla and said, hey, here's my VIN number. Any chance I can get some more power on the car, I'd love to, you know, make it go a little faster. Uh, he, he ran the VIN and came back and said, yeah, your car is eligible for that upgrade. It's not an over-the-air update. It doesn't come automatically through the car as most of the other Tesla updates do. They actually had to send a Tesla technician out to my house, which they did the next day. So guy came out to my house, made some software updates. I wanted to be here when he was here to actually kind of go through the update process since it's a little different than just coming over the air. Uh, he actually had to hook up the car to, to his computer. Uh, so he came a little early. I wasn't able to meet with him, but nevertheless, I got some screenshots of some of the stuff he was doing and making the updates to the car. So the uncorking on the Model X is done performance is supposed to increase. Not really sure what to expect. All I know is I got before 0 to 60 in 4.6, 4.7, quarter mile in 13.2. Now, I just got home. Updates are done. Unfortunately, the car's not fully charged, so I know the cars are faster when they're fully topped off. This is about 50% charge, maybe a little less, but I'm excited to see if there's a difference, and if there is a difference, even at this low charge, then I'll take it out the track and do some full testing. So I'm gonna jet out right now and do a zero to 60 run and actually measure the power with power tools on the iPhone because I know how much power I was making way back when I bought the car, and I also know how much power it was making right before this update. So I'll see if there's a power increase. I'll see if the zero to 60 drops a little bit. If it does, I'll fully charge the car, take it out and do some more testing. I just wanna say thanks to Tesla for coming out and making the updates. I think it's super cool that you can buy a Tesla and features come out you know, all the time and make your car actually better, especially when it comes to performance. That's a really added bonus to having this car. I can't think of another manufacturer that does that aside from McLaren. Uh, I remember way back in the day when I had my McLaren MP4 12C, they bumped the horsepower from 596 horsepower to 616 horsepower, and that was a free update. You had to bring the car into McLaren, they made those updates and your car was faster. It was actually a pretty significant bump of performance for that McLaren. Now, I can't think of another car manufacturer that does that. Uh, you know, BMW, Mercedes, when you get your car and that's the power, you're done, that's it. You know, if you want the, the power increase to the next model year came because it's running more boost or it's got some different stuff going on in there, you gotta pay, sell that car, buy the new one if you wanna go faster. So I think it's super cool that, you know, Tesla will give you more performance in your car, no charge. They actually sent them out to my house. I didn't even have to bring the car in. Uh, he came out to my house, made the updates, made the car faster. We're gonna go and run the test now and uh, let's see what we get. All right, so here we are. I'm in the Tesla Model X 100D after the update from Tesla. And uh, I just want to get a really quick test just to see if it makes a difference to do a full test. I don't even have full charge. I'm at 192 miles uh, max charge, and this is uh, close to 300 or something like that. Uh, but I just want to see if I can get a better 0 to 60. And I got the power tools running up here to see if it picks up my more power. Now, I did do a full test. Uh, beforehand, I did an initial test when I first picked up the car, and I did a test, uh, you know, before they came out and did the update. So uh, I should be able to tell right away if there's a performance increase. Is if there is, I will do a full charge and take the X to the track, and uh, we'll do a full quarter mile test to see what it picks up. So uh, let's just do a quick zero to sixty, and if it's better than four point six then we know we got the performance update and we'll go out and do some more testing. So let's give it a try. All right, we definitely 
picked up power because I know that the last time I tested it said 400 it said like 380 kilowatt and we're getting 409 and that's only at uh, you know reduced uh, battery percentage I gotta look at the v-box real quick let me put on autopilot so I can do that and read it looks like we got 4.4 and we definitely picked up some more power so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge up the battery to 100% come out and test again and we'll see what the performance gains are and report back There we go, a little better. We got 13.0 and that one at 107.8 miles an hour. Definitely an increase there. And the zero to 60 on that pass was 4.5 seconds. So it looks like we picked up two tenths to 60. That could be 4.4. We'll have to check it out on the V box when we pull the card. But definitely a performance increase. 13.0 could be a 12.9. We'll pull the V box data and check it out. One more zero to 60, here we go. Here we go, we got a 4.4 zero to 60. That's the best one yet. I think that's the best it's gonna do. We'll check it, maybe 4.3, but 4.4 is that. All right, so there you go. You saw the results, zero to 60 picked up about two tenths, we got 4.4 flat 0 to 60 after the Tesla tune or uncorking and quarter mile drop from 13.2 to 13 flat at roughly about the same mile an hour 107 and change uh, trap speed. So I'll put up a graph as well. You can see that the power output bumped up about 25, 30 horsepower um, from my previous best when I first got the car and then uh, from the test right before you know, before and after, it picked up a little more horsepower. Uh, that could have been just various differences in the heat, but there's definitely a power increase uh, peak from uh, the, my previous best to this best of about 25, 30 horsepower. So, and uh, by the graph, you can see that it picks up from like 40 to 70, and then kind of the power just evens off to where it was before. So you get a little more grunt, and uh, you get a better core mile time, and you get a better zero to 60 time for free from Tesla. So. Uh, Again, I appreciate Tesla coming out and tuning the car, and uh, we're glad to have a faster car. It would be interesting to see if we could test uh, a brand new 100D Model X to see how this does against that and see if it's really exactly the same. Uh, if we get our hands on one, we will definitely do that. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're on our mission to get a Tesla Roadster, so if you're looking for a Model S or Model X, I'm going to put a referral code down in the uh, description box there and in the YouTube card. And if you know anyone who's looking for those kind of cars, uh, I appreciate you using our referral. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.